Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making cream of potato soup in the Instant Pot Superior Cooker. Alright, I'm starting out on my Superior Cooker. I was sitting on saute high and it's hot. I'm going to start by adding in five tablespoons of butter. And my butter's frozen because I keep it in the freezer. And I'm going to start to melt this down and coat the pot with it. And guys, this would be a good hearty soup for a cold fall day because here in Pennsylvania it's really chilly out. I have my heat on as a matter of fact. And I have one onion I diced up fine. I'm going to get that into the instant pot. And I'm going to allow my onions to saute for a few minutes and I'm melting butter until they start to soften up. Alright, now that my onions sauteed for a few minutes they're starting to soften up, I'm going to add in some garlic. And I'm using a pre-diced stuff in a jar. I'm going to add in about two cloves worth. These fresh, just use two cloves. And I'm going to stir that in there just for a minute. Because the pre-diced stuff is either soaking in water or olive oil and it's softened up already so you don't have to worry about cooking as long as you would fresh garlic. Now I'm going to add in about five tablespoons of flour and I'm just eyeballing this. And I'm going to allow that flour to fry in the butter and the onions for a minute to cook out the flour taste. Alright, now that my onions and flour cooked for a little while and the flour taste is out of it, I'm going to add in four cups of chicken broth. And we're still set on saute high. Give that a stir. You just want to whisk it around to get the lumps out of your flour. Alright, that's looking good for now. Now I'm going to add in some milk. I'm going to add in four cups of milk. And this is a two cup measuring cup, so I'll put two of them in. I'm going to allow this to come up to uh, a gentle boil. All right, now that my soup's starting to warm up, I'm going to season it. I'm going to start by adding a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to stir that in and we'll give it a taste. I'm going to add in one more teaspoon of salt. You want to take it slow because you can always add more, but you can't take away. All right, let's give that a taste. A little more. Do another teaspoon. So that's three teaspoons of salt. That's tasting good there. I'm going to add in some black pepper. I'm going to go for about a teaspoon. And I'm going to add in some celery seed. Celery seed isn't actually from celery, but it gives food a good celery flavor. I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon because a little bit goes a long way. Alright, let me taste that quick. That's tasting good right there. Now I have about two and a half pounds of red sweet potatoes I diced up into pieces about like that. We're going to get that in because I don't want them to sit out too long and they'll start to turn brown. And I'm going to let this continue to come up to the boil. 
All right, when it's going up to a boil, I boiled it on covered for 20 minutes till my potatoes were tender. Now I'm going to thicken this up. I have a cornstarch slurry. It's about three tablespoons of cornstarch and three tablespoons of cold water. I'm going to add that, and that'll help tighten this up quick. I just want to stir it in there. All right, now I have real bacon bits here. This is a two and a 2.5 ounce bag. I'm going to add half of it in and see how it looks. Add a little more. I'm going to put three quarters of the bag in. And I have some fresh parsley I diced up. About a heaping tablespoon that's going to go in. I'm going to allow this cook just for a minute uncovered to thicken that up and then we'll go ahead and fix up a bowl and see what we got. Went ahead and topped this with some more cheddar cheese and some bacon bits. I'm going to give this a try guys. See how nice and thick it got. It's going to be hot like lava. It's really delicious. It's creamy. Potatoes are soft. You get that bacon coming through. It's well seasoned. Cream of potato soup and the Instant Pot Superior Cooker. Thanks for watching and supporting me. And remember, love what you eat and eat what you love.